John Randall Stuckey was born on February 17, 1948 in Mound Ridge, Kansas, to Melvin and Doris Stuckey. The youngest of five children, John enjoyed playing sports with his four brothers. From a very young age, John excelled in athletics. At Mound Ridge High School, John was a member of the track team. He broke school records in throwing the javelin and discus, and as a senior, placed second in the Kansas State track meet. John also played on the Mound Ridge High School football team. He played on both sides of the ball as a linebacker and a quarterback. John was first team all league, as well as team captain his senior year. John was also president of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, which would remain an important organization to him throughout his life. In fact, it was at a Fellowship of Christian Athletes summer camp that John became interested in strength training. After listening to U.S. Olympic weightlifter Paul Anderson speak, John began weightlifting in the family barn. He became hooked when he discovered how much this helped his performance on the field. Upon graduation from high school in 1966, Stuckey attended Hutchinson Junior College for two seasons, where he played both quarterback and defensive tackle on the football team. It was his talent as a defensive player, however, that caught the eye of Kansas State University, which offered him a scholarship for the 1968 season. Stuckey quickly made his presence felt as a Wildcat team member when he earned all Big 8 honors as a nose guard in 1968. From this difficult position, he had a team high 14 tackles. Consequently, in 1969, he was named team captain. Upon graduation, Stuckey had twice been named first team academic all Big 8, as well as capturing a spot on the Detroit Sports Extras all-American team. He was also honored by the Outstanding College Athletes and was awarded the Ken Ox Courage Award. In 1970, Stuckey began a successful two-year stint playing in the CFL for the British Columbia Lions. His interest in coaching and sharing strength training with other football players, however, drew him back to Kansas State. While earning a master's in physical education, Stuckey was a freshman line coach and ran the Kansas State Strength and Conditioning Program. In 1974, Stuckey went to Wichita State, where he was both the defensive line coach and strength coach. At Wichita State, Stuckey met Philip Fulmer. The two remained close friends throughout Stuckey's life. In 1977, John moved to the University of Arkansas, where he served as strength coach and linebacker coach. During this time, the Razorbacks appeared in the Orange Bowl, Fiesta Bowl, and Sugar Bowl. Most importantly, while working with the Razorbacks, John met his beautiful wife, Jeannie. Jeannie was working as a secretary for head coach Lou Holtz when she met him. The two were married in 1980 and had one son, Philip. In 1980, Stuckey moved to North Carolina State University. After three seasons of double duty as a defensive line and strength coach, Stuckey was able to give up his on-field coaching responsibilities and run the growing strength and conditioning program full-time. In 1984, Stuckey went to Oklahoma State as a full-time strength coach. He spent four seasons running the weight program there and worked with athletes Barry Sanders and Thurman Thomas. On his strength program, Stuckey commented, we're not preparing a guy to be a bodybuilder. We're preparing him to be a running, jumping, explosive athlete. Stuckey returned to Arkansas once again in 1988 to take charge of the Razorback strength and conditioning program. Under his guidance, the Razorbacks won back-to-back -back Southwest Conference championships in 1988 and 89. Then in 1994, Stuckey reunited with coach Philip Fulmer at the University of Tennessee. Starting out as a strength coach, Stuckey was eventually named assistant athletic director for physical development. During his tenure there, Stuckey compiled a winning percentage of .833. The Vols capture the 1997 SEC Championship, the 1998 National Championship, 
and the 2001 Eastern Division Championship. Stuckey retired from coaching after the 2001 season. Stuckey received many honors throughout his coaching career. He was twice selected by his peers as the SEC Strength Coach of the Year. In 1996, he was named the Professional Strength and Conditioning Coaches Society National Collegiate Coach of the Year. In May 2000, Stuckey, along with nine of his peers, helped to form the Collegiate Strength and Conditioning Coaches Association. He was named a Master Strength and Conditioning Coach by the CSCCA in 2001. In 2003, Stuckey was elected to the USA Strength and Conditioning Coaches Hall of Fame. As a coach, Stuckey mentored many young men and women who were interested in becoming strength and conditioning coaches. Many of these coaches are prominent in the field today and are the first to admit that they owe much of their success to the early training they received from Coach Stuckey. On his coaching success, Stuckey once commented, I have always been an avid weightlifter, and my little success was due to strength training. It seems natural to apply it to other young men. Most people don't know what strength coaches do. It's a privilege, and I appreciate it. It's kind of unseen a lot of the time on the field, but it's an important part of what they're doing. To see the young men develop and become successful is very rewarding. Coach John Stuckey passed away on April 12, 2007, in Bentonville, Arkansas. He is survived by his wife, Jeannie, and his son, Philip. He's also survived by his mother, Doris, three brothers, and one sister. Although Coach Stuckey has passed away, his memory lives on through strength and conditioning coaches nationwide. He is missed by all who knew him. CSCCA President Bob Aviat commented, John was one of the best coaches in the country, yet he was always humble and always had an encouraging word for everyone. He was a man of integrity, and our profession would not be what it is today without his many contributions. <laughs>